All right, I figured it's easier to just make a video than it is to keep trying to type this uh, and explain it. So the problem is that when people convert their parts cooling fan, like I've done um, with the Briss Fang and Noctua's, the problem is your part cooling fan, people are just grabbing 12 volts off of their um, off a buck converter that they've installed. Uh, so it's usually grabbing 24 volts off of the hot end, uh, stepping that down to 12 volts, and then using that 12 volts to run the parts cooling fan, as well as the hot end fan, as well as their motherboard fan. The problem is that when you're doing your base layers, you're not supposed to be running your fan uh, to help it get good bed adhesion. Uh, but a lot of people just kind of forego that. So as you can see right now, I have my fan uh, in tune. I've manually turned it down to zero, but it's actually running at 100% because currently mine is just uh, running straight 12 volts. The problem is that the power coming off of the motherboard um, is 24 volts, uh, but it's switching. It's off and on um, between zero and 24 volts, and it's modulating the frequency of time that it is alternating between off and on. So you can't use that signal to power a PWM um, style fan. These style fans have to be 12 volts all the time with a 25 kilohertz PWM signal to raise and lower the speed of the fan. So what I've done is I took the original wire, cut it off, it's plugged into my motherboard. So right now what it's doing is this wire is running across and it's going into a voltage divider Arduino um, module and then from there I'm going into an Arduino uh, and then from there I'm outputting to a spare PC fan that I have uh, and right now I have the Arduino running in serial mode so we come over here to my serial monitor and this is still rough right now um, but what it's doing is it's reading the voltage, um, but it's actually reading the voltage 30 times, um, once every 50 milliseconds. Uh, it's reading it 30 times, once every 50 milliseconds, taking that amount and averaging it out. Um, so right now it's averaging, see it's seeing between 0.8 and 1 volts, even though over here it's at zero, but there actually is a little bit of voltage. It's actually like 0 0.05, I checked it with my scope. Uh, so this is just about as low as it'll get. So what's happening is I wrote an Arduino script um, and it's outputting, so it's taking that voltage, uh, it's scaling it one to 100, and then it's using that one to 100 to create a duty cycle. Um, but the problem is I had to use a one of the registers uh, in the Arduino in order to create a 25 kilohertz signal because the Arduino only outputs at like 490 hertz when you use the um, analog output. So anyways, that 3 volt kilohertz or that 3% duty cycle um, is generating a output signal back to my Arduino and then back to my fan. So you can see this fan here is just basically idling. It's barely moving at all. So now what happens is when your G-code calls for more fan. So say for example, um, what it usually does is after the first layer, it'll call for usually around 85 uh, fan. So note where this is a scale of zero to 255. So what'll happen is my Arduino is reading that voltage. Like I said, it has to read it 30 times. So it gets an accurate um, representation of what the voltage is supposed to be. I always find it kind of overshoots a little bit, kind of bounces back. I'm still working on my smoothing algorithm, but you figure 85 is a third of 255, so a third of 24 volts is actually about 8 volts. So right now it's kind of stabilizing, normalizing. Eventually it'll settle around 8 volts, but you can hear the fan. So it's kind of ramping up the fan speed, and it'll sort of smooth out and average out. So after your G-code has usually finished calling for, you know, after the first three layers or so, it'll then say, okay, give me full power parts cooling. So your fan will ramp up to 255. So now my Arduino is gonna grab that voltage. So again, it's over the course of about 30. So see, now it's ramping up, 24 volts, 100% duty cycle. And now this fan's ripping. Whoops. So. That is kind of where I'm at right now with this. Oh yeah, so I'm also using a 16 volt 
power supply, stepping it down with a 12 volt power supply in order to get 12 volts to my breadboard in order to give 12 volts to my fan. Um, so still first cut, just started tinkering with this today, been rattling around in my head, but I thought I would share um, the progress on this. So there it is. Cheers. <laughs>